Hey, in this video, we'll be reviewing the C to Summit 2 liter collapsible kettle. Let's get started. Hey, YouTube, this is Robert from Sherburn Outdoors. Hey, today we're going to be discussing the C to Summit 2 liter collapsible kettle. So, I've been doing a lot of uh, consolidation lately over the summer where I went through all my gear. And I've, I've decided to move to Rome Adventure cases uh, from the Home Depot stuff that I've been using, uh, just the 38-gallon one. It's been great, but I can't sit on it. I can't stand on it. It's not secure. It's not waterproof. So I'm going to be moving to the Rome Adventure cases. I've ordered one, and i got another one coming. But with that said, I, 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 a lot of my gear was really heavy and really big. I've just been buying, buying, buying over the last couple of years and adding it. And has uh, gotten a little bit more sophisticated with overlanding, and we've been doing stuff with the Gladiator and upgrading it. I wanted to reduce my gear, not really get rid of what I've got or what I'm doing, but uh, actually reduce it from the size of it is today uh, to something smaller. And typically, that actually costs a little bit. Let me give you an example. Today, I use a GCI coffee pot. Um, I don't use it for coffee. I actually have a French press from GSI as well that I use, but I fill it up from, from this. And these two things take a lot of space. This thing weighs uh, 26 ounces. This thing weighs 10, a complete pound. And if we look at the size difference, this is comp a, a lot smaller, a lot smaller. So with that said, this is about 55 bucks. Um, the previous one was about 35 bucks from GSI, but we're talking about the Sea to Summit X Pot Kettle. This is the two liter version, and it'll hold uh, 1.5 liters when you're boiling it because obviously it needs more volume inside of it. But it is tiny, it's 10 ounces. It actually is cute. Um, if you look here, I'll put a link up here uh, to where I bought it on Amazon. But it says, you know, it's got food resistant, food grade silicon for where uh, you uncollapse it. I'm a little skeptic. Uh, it feels like if you're boiling something and rubber on the side, it might melt. But we'll, hey, we're going to give this a test here in just a second. But it's so small, but it also has this other thing where you can actually put the X cups and the X bowls. You can put two of them inside of here, and it's still this little thin width. So i tell you what, let's take this thing apart. It's got some snaps here on the side. Take this off. Wow, it is. It's, it's got a clear lid. Um, it's got a rubber band that holds all this together. So I guess that's okay. Um, lid pops right off. Got a few instructions in the middle here. Um, leave those over there. But um, so far, so good. Look at the base. It's really good. It's made of aluminum. It says this is food grade silicon. So let's just pop it up and take a peek at it. Okay. So it just pops right up. Let me put that down. So very simple. Okay. So you got some measurements on the side here. Um, and then you got two things to hold it up and then the lid. You know what? This isn't complicated. And then you got a little holder here, latch on the lid. And then you got two things here so that you can hold it. It's actually very, very stable. So I tell you what, again, this costs about 55 bucks on Amazon from uh, C to Summit. I'm pretty impressed with this so far. And then it's got some more directions on the bottom. But anyway, what I want to do now is previously, I took this guy before this video, filled it with 1.5 liters of water, which is kind of about 51 ounces, and it took just over nine minutes to boil at that uh, price. So this has been my tried and true going through it. If we look here, you know, the bottom actually on this little guy is actually bigger than this one. So the base will be at least the same. Um, and then we're going to do the exact same test on my Coleman Triton. Uh, which is huge, by the way, and may be getting upgraded to a jet boil. More to come. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, fill this thing up and get it moving. So just as before, we've got the lid here. We'll, we'll put that over to the side. One thing I like is I thought this was a sticker, but it's not. It's actually it's actually etched into this plastic. It's, it's nice. It's actually very good quality. Um, so I've got my hand-me-down huge measuring cup. i got 51 ounces in here. I'm just going to pop it on here. Get it nice and full. Wow, well, that does fill up, actually. So that's one and a half liters. I'm not exactly sure where the other, other half liter is going to fit in here, but uh, that's where we are, full up. So with that, put our top back on. 
put these guys up so they don't melt. I'm very curious if this, because this is squishy. Squeegee, squishy, whatever you want to say. Let's get our clock ups so that we're ready to go. So we were at 9.04 with our GSI coffee pot, which isn't bad if you're out camping. Let's just reset that and get it moving. Um, let's get this lit up. Turn it. I had the other one on high. Let's get this going. Fire up our counter. And we are off and running. And so far, the plastic hasn't melted, but we'll see. YouTube. It looks like, I don't know, anywhere from 7 to 7.30. If we just kind of open this up, this stuff's boiling away um, really well. Wow. That was impressive. Um, so, probably it looks like it's about a couple minutes uh, quicker. Um, very, very impressed. Alright, let me, let me get this stuff off and let's take a peek at how it pours. So, Obviously, this is what I've been using previously, and this is my coffee press that I've been using from GSI, um, or my French press. Let me just get this open. This is great. I really enjoy this. So how easy is it to pour in this thing? So let's leave this top on. So this thing is on fire, and I feel nothing in, in the, the handles at the top. Just going to... Oh, Wow. You got to be careful not to go too much over, or it will come, you know, if you go past the spout. But this, this pours and handles really good. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. I guess you get what you pay for. Again, this was about 55 bucks from Sea to Summit. I bought it on Amazon. Really, really impressed. And you can see you got your different levels. Let you know here. You've got this 1.5 for boil, which is what we did, but you can go all the way up and it says it's a two liter. I am very impressed. This two liter Sea to Summit collapsible kettle, wow. Uh, I don't call it a game changer, but I have been really wanted to reduce all my stuff. And, and I mean, this at full capacity, liter and a half, it's gonna be plenty for me. And then when I'm done and I'm ready to put it away, boom, there we go. Love this. I'm actually gonna buy some more of their products to fit inside of this and not take up any more space in my new gear that I'm getting from Rome Adventure. Hey, if you like this kind of content, click that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified when we got new videos out. Everybody have a great weekend. Thanks a lot.